Uh, first up is Game Show, and whoever that is, it's Game Show. He, he jumps. He jumps now. I remember when I first met him, like, who the hell is this? Who the fuck is this man? But now he's actually jumping, and he's, he has his own course, so it's like, hey, he's fine. He's cool. But, ba but man, if you ask me before, when I first talked to him in that Hail and the Warrior lobby, I'm like, who in the fuck is this man right here? Game show, allergic to actually good performances on courses that isn't this one. Look at him. Look at him, like a baby. Look at him, like his controller has the drift of, I don't even know, drift of something. The commentary is already coming out. What the hell is he doing? Just jump. Hold forward, please, game show. There you go. God. He made that obstacle look about five times harder than it actually was. I don't know what game show's best result on the course is, but it's probably this one as he just reaches the fourth obstacle. What an absolute trooper. Oh my goodness, he, he looks like he has a... That was lucky as shit, I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh my god, game show's doing it. He's doing it. Game show actually... No, never mind, he's dead. He's gone. Deceased, dead, he died, he was killed in the water, the water killed him, he can't swim, he's black. Of course it'll kill him, he's black, he can't swim. Anyways, we're on the shadow run now. Uh, he's the dude, he jumps too. I don't know what to say about him, really, I don't, I don't speak to him that much, and I don't know what he does, so. He's just a jumper, he jumps, I think. He's alright at it. Jesus, he almost failed that, but he's the fucking cameraman gets stuck. Christ. Literally the worst directed film ever. Up oh, and he's died. Somehow earlier than Game Show. That is not good. Next of a uh, robotic pie. He's a. Uh, he's alright, I guess. I don't know much about him. I think he jumps on Roblox. That might be disrespectful. That might just be very disrespectful if I say he might jump on Roblox if I have no idea what you do. But yeah, he came close to clear in that one time. Uh, I think he missed the last tournament. I'm not sure. Cleared Flames course, so we know he's got the skills. So yeah. Now he's doing the course. I really don't know much about him either. That's how you know when your commentary is great. You don't know who they are. Just say you don't know. Just, just watch them jump. Just like you're. Just like I'm a fan right now. I'm just watching, bro. He's doing the course with pace, like Shadowrun did before he died. But he doesn't die like Shadowrun does. Personally, if it was me, I wouldn't fall before game show. Like, that's a goal. Every tournament I ever go into, I'm like, where did game show get? Okay, I gotta beat that. That's my goal. Yeah, no timer. I'll just let you know whenever he timed out. You know, if he times out. You'll never know. Only I know. I can just not tell you anything. You Like, did he time out? Who knows? Maybe he did. Maybe he did not. Maybe he timed out right now. Do who knows? He didn't, but it's a possibility. Now he's on the cat grab wall. It doesn't get up at first attempt, because why would you? Who does that? And everybody is very lucky I put that right there. He would have failed that obstacle twice. He did fail it twice, but he just would have fell in the water twice. Three times now. Okay, yeah, he timed up here. All right, if it's not obvious enough. What, do you need the timer for this shit? He's timed out. He's, he's, it's done. Will he get up, though? No, like five attempts. Still not up. Can he do it again? He's did it. Let's go. He's timed out, which is why I'm staying back. And not actually follow him, but he's deceased anyway. With a jump. Speaking of not knowing, Eternal Flames. Next, I have no bloody idea who the fuck this is, bro. Like, the, the faintest clue. You talk about randos of the rando. This man just came from nowhere and just wanted to do a run. I'm like, hey, okay, sure, go ahead. Apparently, he did two courses before this, so... Maybe someone can decipher him, but I can't. I sure cannot. He's also failed the butterfly world earlier than game show two. That's depressing. I'd personally retire already.
And, uh, Caden Bogart clears. I could tell you the time. I can easily tell you the time, actually. I have the notes where I put the clears and all that shit on it. But I really don't feel like doing it. So, fuck you. He cleared. Next up, Foamy Boy. The boy. He is my boy. Foamy. He's a boy. He's the boy. He has boy in his name. Foamy. He used to be It's Foamy. Then he used to be Gaming. What the fuck ever. We don't talk about that game attack. Yeah, he's been in every tournament. Hasn't beat stage one, but he's been in every tournament. He is my favorite. One of my favorite. There's Iris. He's rooting him on. He'll run right after him. It'll be cool, like a big happy family. Foamy. Jeez, Foamy, man. I I really want Foamy to clear once. Like Bubba when he cleared an Irish Warrior 3. It's like that feel-good moment that you can't just help but remember. Like, hey, remember that one time Bubba cleared? I want to be like, hey, remember that one time Foamy cleared? We haven't gotten there yet, but I believe we will one day. One day we will. Maybe he could be today. He beat the butterfly wall. That's taken him out, I think, twice, maybe once. Now the worst obstacle in existence, and he overshoot the camp completely. That is a tough scene. And speaking of Irish, here he is right now, Mr. Irish Warrior himself, a pretty cool dude. Talk to him a couple times whenever he appears on my computer screen. I'm like, hey, Irish is on, let me join. Sometimes it's like that. Other times he's here. He just, he's there. He's everywhere, occasionally. And there's Foamy literally massacring me in the background. Look, he's still doing it. Get your Irish. Irish reached stage three. I believe in tournament nine, and then to fail the easiest stage two known to mankind. It was depressing, let me tell you. Every time I just fail, it's like a piece of me dies. I want him to feel good. That's the entire premise of this course. I know nobody actually is going to reach this far to hear this part, but the entire premise of the course was for people like Foamy, like Game Show, to have a decent shot at clearing. And Irish is going to, uh, he's going to get up the drag glider. Oh, he's dead. Unfortunate. I should probably get that message at the, uh. Anyway, here's Mr. Ninjas of Halo. Sonic fan, 10193. Just, I don't fucking know, really. He plays Fight Night Champion. That's pretty, uh, it's pretty lit. That one time he played it, I beat his ass three, y'all. ain't going to lie. I whooped his ass in Fight Night Champion. I beat him with Butterbean. Butterbean again, and then Mike Tyson. Jeez, bro, he got his ass whooped. But uh, besides that, yeah, he's a pretty good jumper. Except that one time he failed the first obstacle in the uh, Flame Warrior. But we don't talk about that. There he is. Explosions happening in the background. Mr. Kazoo, live and learn, head ass looking head. Yeah, Sonic, he, he, he jumps, he does things. I don't know what else to say about it. This is making me realize, besides jumping with everybody, I don't do much else with them. Like, Sonic is, like, probably the first time I've done something other than jump or some custom game on Halo. But the thing is, all you motherfuckers are playing Fall Guys now. Like, remember when everybody thought that game was dead for a while? Kind of was dead at this, as the cameraman gets fucking stuck. But now everyone's playing it again. I'm not. I don't want to play that game. I can't go five seconds in the party like, hey, Fall Guys. Like, what the fuck, bro? Play a different game. Something. I don't know, man. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what you can play. I don't know. It's not my choice. But again, it's not my choice for you to play Fall Guys. So, dude, what the fuck am I talking about? Literally just rambling on about games other people play. Like, why would I even want to control that? Can Sonic get up this in one? No, he cannot, because nobody will get up it in one. I bet you my... I don't know what I'll bet. I'll bet you something. He's up it in two. He has time to clear. You'd know he'd have time to clear if I had the timer up, but fuck you. I don't care about you viewers. The, the two of you that mm, so happen... Like, you know what? If you're watching this far in, if you're watching Sonic fucking climb up this stable climb, just put fuck you, Taco. You're a dumbass motherfucker. But if you can't, cur but if you can't curse, just say I hate tacos. If you ever see this part, as Sonic clears, just put that. 
if you even watch the video, just put I hate tacos in the comment section in my Discord chat. Private message me that. DM me. Put it in my Xbox chat. I don't know. Something. Do and something. Now we're up to uh, now we're up to two clears as I overlapped myself like a great editor. This it's this tournament sucks anyways. What what the hell am I talking about? Anyways, we've had two clears. One was actually seen and recorded. The other is simply a figment of our imagination, so it very well could have possibly not happened. But now Tricky, Mr. I will achieve total victory on every course, every tournament. I will say I achieve total victory, even though after that one total victory, Tricky can't stop fucking saying, I will achieve total victory. Hey, remember that one time I achieved total victory? Yes, we get it. You were the fucking first brick brand champion. We get it. We have got it. We have get it. We have got it. We've got it, Tricky. We know. I get it. I'm not gonna get over how how badly Tricky Tricky's entire flow just changed when he got that total victory. Like fucking god, man. He got that. I was happy for him. I'll be honest. When he got that total victory in Spartan Ninja War, but ever since then, this motherfucker just can't. Just he just changed. He he rarely roots for people anymore. Like, he, he doesn't even stick around for other people to run. He just says, eh, I don't think you're clear or whatever. He just says it straight to their face. Like, I know there's honesty, but damn, Tricky just does not care anymore. But it's whatever. I know he won't see this. He probably doesn't look at it anyways. Hey, how you doing? Anyway, he's on the staple climb. He's gonna clear. He's gonna do the safer strategy. That's what's up. And there's Jake in the background. Hey, you you want to know something cool? Jake always likes to stick around and watch Tricky run, but Tricky doesn't want to stick around and watch Jake run. That's something. That just that just shows you something. I don't know what it shows, but it shows something. Next up, Petrillo. Petrillo is pretty cool. He's he's the guy. I don't really interact with him much out of jumping, but yeah, he's pretty cool. Just like every everybody else, everybody else in the community. I don't really uh, interact much outside of jumping. But hey, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Petrillo's pretty cool. Yeah, he does. He jumps. He's pretty good at that, actually. Uh, yeah. Man. How you gonna let this man, man? Anyways, Petrillo, he's cool. He's cleared a lot. He failed those two times, which are really pokey, but we don't talk about that. Who the hell is that? I think that was Sonic. I don't know. I couldn't tell. Jello, go on a course. Jello, jump. Please, thank you. There we go. He's off. Yeah. He likes to reach the final stages, but he doesn't really exactly like to achieve total victory. Except that time on Spartan Ninja Warrior. But, uh, I don't think besides that, you know, Halo Sasuke hasn't gone exactly to plan. Ninjas of Halo hasn't exactly gone to plan. Irish Warrior hasn't exactly gone to plan. So, uh what else? Alright, my course. Hasn't exactly gone to plan. He probably has done it on Swiss Warrior. I don't even know, bro. But yeah, it's... Uh... Man, Petrillo. I just want Petrillo. I just want Petrillo to achieve total victory in every single tournament. That's ever big. He's such a nice guy. I think he's going to do it this time, though. He's going to clear stage one, I'm pretty sure. If he get up a single one. He got up at a one. Somebody got up at a one. I would have sold something if I continued my previous statement earlier. But yeah, Petrillo's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. Wow. Look at him. The majestic eagle. Majestic. He's jumping. He's jumping. He jumps again, and he jumps for the last time, and Petrillo! Petrillo's cleared stage one, he's did it, and we go on to our last runner of the damn tournament already, because fuck it. Alright, <laughs> now I'm here to give a warning to you. This next run has some audio that you might not like to hear, it has some music that you might not want to hear. So please, if you are the faint of heart, or easily triggered, turn your fucking sound off right now. I do not want to hear shit about this song being in the tournament. I've warned you. There will be like 50 warning symbols on the screen. Or just one big ass warning sign. Or text, because I'm that lazy. But you have been warned. Trust me.
And now we have Joey, Mr. Snowball, yeah. the Apex JP Vazier, a Vestia. This I gave him this song as a representation of what I think about him. He is so cool. <laughs> this is originally planned for Chumpy, but he didn't want it. And he didn't even run it. So I was gonna give it to Swan, but he. I, I didn't want it. Plus, I ended the tournament now, so I'll just give it to Joey. I might get banned for this for some reason, you know? Nigga, 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 nigga. I don't drink beer, I drink more liquor. Cause I'm a nigga. Motherfucking nigga, man. I ain't all that African American shit. Fuck that. I'm a nigga. I ain't mixed. I'm a nigga. In. IGGA. Nigga. You I wonder if the copyright would strike me. I don't even want the comic page. Joey's beating stage one every time, beating stage two every time. Nigga, 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 nigga. Why would you make it in my kitchen? Nigga, 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 nigga. Why you call them hoes bitches? Nigga, 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 nigga. Cause them hoes is bitches. Nigga, 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 nigga. Why you stay in the hood? He did it, Joey Clear. Cause I don't like living by Pekka Woods. Nigga, 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 nigga. Why you ain't got no job? Nigga, 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 nigga. Anyway, Caden failed the first obstacle stage two. Yeah, that happened. Uh, anyways, you can unmute now. Probably. You've got it. But now I'm about to do something pretty cool for this uh, stage two. The easiest stage two known to mankind. Well, anyways, there's this. Uh... Pretty cool thing I did. I realized I could make a pretty cool graphic if I had decided to ever do profiles again, but this is simply just all uh, the rest of the runs that cleared. Uh, Joey is at the top left, Patrillo, top right, Tricky, bottom left, Sonic, bottom right. And as you can see, they mostly had the same pace. So it might be a bit laggy on this end. But hey, it's whatever, I suppose. But yeah, they all uh, beat this stage too. It was supposed to be a bit more difficult, but just, you know, Caden decided to uh, do the thing where he failed. But anyways, Tricky's cleared. Sonic misses the buzzer. Joey clears, and then Drillo's coming up, bringing up the rear. I think he just missed two, and he also cleared. So uh, yeah, I kind of actually like doing this edit. And it was so nice I had to do it twice. It's already it's already lost its magic. It's it's less cool now. But uh, I thought about giving them all their single stage three runs, but it it doesn't even matter at this point. Did it for stage two. Might as well do it for stage three. It's almost like a race as he was the fastest. But Jolo actually dismounts first. Sonic was Sonic was at the end where he could dismount. Tricky and Joey are just gonna wait, and uh, Joey actually gets off at the last. You throw Patrullo through the second obstacle first, followed, of course, by Sonic. Uh, Joey, ooh, that was very close. I think Tricky still got there faster, but Joey's gonna get into it quicker. Yeah, Patrullo doesn't have to do that technique. He's still off of it first. And now, uh, now Joey and Sonic are side by side as Tricky finally gets on the cliffhanger. Petrillo beating the cliffhanger. It's not exactly a race. Joey's beating the cliffhanger, Sonic lining up. Tricky makes a transfer. I think Joey just passed Petrillo there. Nope, Petrillo still in the lead there. Because now he's on to, uh... Uh, what did I call that? I call it switch bars. Now Joey's onto it. Tricky ahead of Sonic now. As it looks like Petrillo is just about to get to retire. I think Tricky just passed Joey there. Sonic now finally onto the switch bars. Yep. 
The chicken is had by a bit, but Joey's going to get into the retire first. Trillo is making his way up already, and he's already up to the first retire. So far, everybody, Sonic is taking his time, which is pretty good, actually. You don't have to go fast. It's not a race. I just wanted to put them side by side. Petrillo onto the second red tire as Joey is going up to that point as Tricky had just made it to the second one as well. And Petrillo is on the third one. Sonic finally into retire. And now both Tricky and Joey are in the third one. But uh, Petrillo just onto the final obstacle now as Joey is right behind him. And so is Tricky not so much but Sonic. Finally there on the first red tire. Trillo in the mongoose. Joey in the mongoose. And now it looks like Tricky will be joining them in the mongoose soon enough. Sonic still in retire. Still on that first one. Now he's on to the second one. Tricky taking his time. But Trillo's on the second track. Well, lining up for the second track. Joey. Tricky's on the mongoose now. Joey's still on the first track. Now Petrillo is uh, touching the second track. Joey on the, well, on the mount to the second track. Well, not really the mount. Tricky on the first track. Petrillo, ever so closer. Now Joey. Joey just goes for it. He actually beats Petrillo to the platform. That was pretty cool. Joey just barely edges himself against Petrillo as they both beat stage three. And for the first time, we'll have multiple people on stage three. Joey's back to stage four. Up to the final stage for his first time since about Tournament 4 and Petrillo. Back to back final stage appearances for him. Now Sonic on to the final Mongoose for his first time as Tricky's on for the second track. And uh, there goes Petrillo's video. Tricky also making his way to the final platform, it looks like. He failed the final jump before, but will he do it this time? He will not. He actually got the Mongoose there perfectly fine, too. A Sonic is just about to get to his second track. And just look how happy Jake is. But now let's see how Sonic does as his turn here is very off. But it looks like he's still going to do it anyways. Oh, God. Oh, oh, no. Sonic. Sonic, no. Sonic. Sonic, stop. Stop doing that. No, Sonic. Oh, God, Jake just got booted to oblivion. Oh, God, Sonic is savable for Sonic, but how did he even get himself in this position? I'm starting to think, oh, no. No, Sonic is really going to end it like this. Oh, God, he's just gone. He's just gone. And now we're into the final stage, and for a moment there in stage three, it actually sounded like I was actually caring about the commentary. But now, into the final stage, no interviews. I gave interviews. I can have the interviews. I'm just not going to put them there. But I at least have the courtesy of mine to give them their own final stage segments. Three people in the stage three. We only had two through, uh, I believe, tournaments. Well, we only had two through 11 tournaments. Now we have three in tournament 12. And two are in there for their first time. Joey there. The time limit is 45 seconds, actually. So uh, let's just focus on this run first. Up oh, and Jakey's off. There you go. That's, I just lagged on my screen. Up for his final stage attempt has started, so let's see if all the talk about him achieving total victory will actually come true. But I was still depressed when I saw him fail the final obstacle. Uh, I think it was a tournament ago. You know, the tournament that wasn't recorded. But yeah, tricky. He's, he's jumping and clumping. He's flying and dying. So, not dying yet. He's actually pretty good on time. Down to the Oh, oh no, Tricky, he's had time. He has time, Tricky is dead. Tricky is deceased. He is gone. He did not achieve total victory. Hey, you know, all-star for a reason. He can get there again. If Tosuke ever decides to return for some god-forsaken reason.
I'm happy Bachola won, but I'm just over this. Joey clears as well. It just happens. Fuck the timer. Fuck everything else. <laughs> Fuck the show. The show sucked anyways. It was just, it was, it was held up by Petrillo and Iris and Foamy. Occasionally Joey. They held the show up while everybody else were randos that I just got. I should just do Rando Warrior, but that's just going to be abs. I'll mix abs and Rando Warrior together. I'll get a hundred fucking people to fail the first two obstacles and watch possibly Joey just win again on that course just because, you know... Because it's fun. It's funny. I don't know. Something. I don't even... I... The way I feel about jumping, I shouldn't be jumping right now. Like, I, I still practice and all that. I don't do as good. I do worse, in fact. I've done worse practicing than I've done not actually practicing. It's crazy how that works. And I didn't really get to host much. I haven't been on to get runs. I'm always on to get runs. It's just you can just ping me to get a run. I'll get on to do the run. It's just, just, just whatever. Yeah, G Joey celebrating. He's done it. He knows he's done it because I told him he did it. And yeah, this, this shit fest is over. I actually like the edit where I put all the runs simultaneously. But besides that, it's horrible. It's horrible to edit. Horrible to commentate over. Yeah, at least I didn't have to try to commentate over. I just said it. The, the high point of this was Patrillo's total victory. I'm going to leave the interview. We're going to leave the interview I have with him as the end, and that will be the last thing you see of Tosca. Or Joey's stage one run in the music. That was also pretty good, but he's, I'm glad it's over. I'm pretty sure a lot of you are glad it's over. You won't have to get pinged to watch this again. I'm going to delete the intro I had. It does. It has no place being there. All right, Petrillo, you've done it. It's it's taken you 11 tournaments, but a win is a win, and I'm happy for you. How do you feel exactly? Very, very happy. Uh, I <laughs> I don't really know. I mean, I going into the tournament, I knew there was a good chance I could get far, but... I don't know, it's just like thinking you can do something and then actually doing it are two totally different things. And actually being at the top and actually having done it is very surreal. And uh, it's achieving total victory. It's one of those things, regardless of what course it is, regardless of what game you're on. It's a feeling that will never get old and it's a feeling that will never go away. And so these moments I cherish, regardless of where it happens. Now, but Joe, this was your second attempt on the stage, and you got it done the second time around. I know on a few other courses, you you haven't exactly gotten it on your second time. Will we be seeing you get that total victory on other courses in the near future? I don't know, man. Uh, I'm I'm not nearly as sweaty as I was like a year ago, but um. Hey, you, you never know, man. Maybe maybe one day I'll get lucky and get back. But I, I believe in you, Pachillo. I believe. Believe, Len. You have to believe in yourself. You, Pachillo, you want, to, you want to know what happens? You want to know what happens when you don't believe in yourself? Uh, the the final stage does that to you. That's what the final stage does to you. You fall without getting to the top. So you need to get to the top. Get to the top more. Okay. <laughs> I will. I believe.